The Ukrainian interior minister is amongst the victims of the helicopter crash that killed at least 17 people in the suburb of the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv. The helicopter was travelling to the Kharkiv region when it crashed near a kindergarten in the suburb of Bovary. Ukraine's presidential office says the eight of the, that eight of the victims were local residents, including four children. President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed that the interior minister was killed in the crash, along with the deputy interior minister and other ministry officials. Let's bring in CNN chief international correspondent Clarissa Ward, who got there very quickly indeed. I mean, how did you read the situation, Clarissa? Well, it's unbelievably tragic for a country, obviously, Max, that has already been through so much in this last year. You can see I'm standing now right in front of that kindergarten. It really took a direct hit when that helicopter, according to eyewitnesses, came flying, appeared to lose control here, clipped the edge of the kindergarten there, starting a fire, and then crashed on the other side of it. When our team first arrived on the ground, you could see a number of bodies covered in gold foil. Uh, that uh, had been recovered, but they're saying now that all nine people who were on that helicopter, including, as you mentioned, the Minister of Interior, Denise Ministerski, the Deputy Minister of Interior, the Secretary of State of the Interior Ministry, that they were all killed immediately upon impact. And now we know as well that the other people who were killed were a number of children and their parents, parents dropping their kids off at school. Max, you can imagine, this is every family's worst nightmare. The question becomes, how did this happen? Because this helicopter was sophisticated. It's a Puma helicopter. Airbus had just updated the avionics on this. And so we don't know exactly how this happened. We know that there was a lot of fog, bad visibility in the area. Some people said that they were able to hear the crash, but they couldn't see it immediately because there was such poor visibility. Ukrainian authorities say that they are investigating every possible avenue as to how this happened. There is no uh, sense at this stage that there was foul play involved, but of course they don't want to eliminate any possibility either. And so right now the main effort continues to be, as you can see behind me, you can see it's still smoldering in parts, the effort to go through that wreckage of that kindergarten, make sure that there are no other people who were killed or injured who've been unaccounted for, and try to get to the bottom of exactly what happened here, Max. It could well be an accident, couldn't it? There's no suggestion that there's any foul play involved here. But how do you think uh, President Zelensky there's might... There's no suggestion that there's yeah. foul play. How do you think President Zelensky yeah, might and address I would just it say, today? You know, just to underscore the... the... Yeah, I, I mean, well, he's already come out and said this is a tragedy. It is a profound tragedy. A member of his cabinet, the entire leadership, essentially, of the Interior Ministry... But it is important to underscore, as you said, there is no suggestion of foul play. And the weather here was terrible this morning. Um, as I said, a lot of people talking about how bad visibility was, how much fog there was. So I am guessing that we will learn more in the coming hours. We continue to see people coming here to pay their respects, to leave flowers. Earlier on, our team was on the ground as the wife of the deputy interior minister came and and looked at the body of her husband. You could see how obviously crushed and uh, deeply upset she was. And I think that for everybody here, there's just a sense that this is a terrible, awful, senseless tragedy. Amid so much pain and heartbreak and devastation already, it's really the last thing Ukraine needed. And, um, and, and no easy answers and no easy person to blame in this situation until we get a much better sense of how this happened. Clarissa Ward on the scene there in Bovary. Thank you very much indeed.